Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Intel booth at the App Up Center. And we've come across a really interesting um, Inventec Ultrabook. So this is from an OEM ODM out of Taiwan. So these guys are responsible for manufacturing devices. So this will be rebranded uh, when it comes out onto the market. This is a 14-inch, yeah, a 14-inch unit, and it is Touch. So let's just launch Intel's app up here. So you can see their whole um, display now has been tweaked for Windows 8, which is always good to see. Um, but let's take a quick walk. Yeah, so this is actually the, the Will I Am app. If you're curious about what Will I Am is doing around the world on his tours, we can you can download this and check that out. But if we head back to Windows 8, you can see here that the touch screen is working. It's working well. Oh, I just activated the calendar. But if we head to the desktop, we'll see here that this is running. We're not sure which CPU, but it's got four gigs of RAM. And we think that it's running, well, so something from Ivy Bridge anyways. But let's take a quick look around the system. The keyboard is obviously quite huge. We have like a nice uh, soft plastic uh, recess here. we typing on it. It's got a little bit of flex, but it is a pre-production sample. Actually, there's a lot of flex up there, but Inventec usually makes the designs that get passed on to manufacturers. So we'll see that has a really nice smooth trackpad. Really nice kind of feeling to that, but it does have a touch screen. So yeah, so. Not, not too concerned about the yeah. trackpad, but if we close the system, this is what's really interesting, is that it is an Ultrabook, and it does have a DVD drive, so that's really great to see. The Kensington lock there, here we have a USB. Around the front we have nothing, and then around the side here we have a card reader, another USB. Uh, that looks like a Thunderbolt port to me, hey hey! Full-size Ethernet and a PSU port here. If we take a look around the bottom, yeah, we do have a panel to access um, access uh, the hard drive or the maybe the RAM for uh, upgrade. So it does have four gigs, and this does have a dual uh, SSD with a hundred gigs, and then a hard drive with another three hundred. So this will likely change when it finally comes to market, or we'll keep an eye out for who actually brings it out to market. So Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks taking a look at a new Ultrabook.